Chapter 16 I have told you these things in advance to keep you from stumbling and losing faith. They will reject you from the synagogues. In fact, the time is coming when anyone who kills you will think he is rendering a service to God. They will do these things because they have not come to know and understand the Father or me. But I told you these things so that when the time comes, you may remember that I told you. I did not tell you these things from the beginning because I was still with you. Now I'm going away to him who commissioned me and none of you asks me, where are you going? Yet because I've spoken these things to you, your hearts are filled with sorrow. Nevertheless, I'm telling you the truth. It is for your benefit that I'm going away. Because if I do not go away, the counselor will not come to you. If I go, I will send him to you. When he comes, he will convict the world about sin, doing right, and judgment. About sin, because sin is the failure to believe in and obey me. About being and doing right, because I'm going to the Father, and you will no longer see me. And about judgment, because the ruler of this world system has been judged. I still have many things to tell you, but you are not able to bear them now. When that spirit of the truth comes, it will guide you into all the truth. The spirit will not speak on its own initiative, but it will speak whatever it hears, and it will also declare to you what is going to happen in the future. It will glorify me because it will receive from me and show it to you. Everything which the Father has is mine. That is why I told you that the Spirit will take from what is mine and declare it to you. In a little while you will see me no longer, and yet in a little while you will see me. So some of the disciples said to one another, What does he mean by this? A little while, and you will not see me again, and a little while, and you will see me, and because I'm going to the Father. What is the meaning of this saying, a little while? We do not understand what he's talking about. Jesus knew that they were wanting to question him, and so he said to them, Are you asking one another about what I meant by a little while and you will not see me, and again a little while and you will see me? I tell you on the highest authority, you will weep and wail, but the world will rejoice. You will become sorrowful, but your sorrow will turn to joy. Whenever a woman is in labor, she has pain because her time of delivery has come. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the suffering on account of the joy that a person has been born into the world. Therefore, you also have sorrow now, but I will see you again. Your hearts will rejoice, and no one will be able to rob you of your joy. In that day, you will not need to ask me anything. I tell you on the highest authority, anything you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have spoken these things to you in obscure metaphorical speech, but the time is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figurative language, but I will tell you plainly about the Father. In that day you will ask in my name. I am not telling you that I will make requests to the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you because you have loved me, and you believed I came from God. I came from the Father, and have come into the world. Again, I am leaving the world, and going to the Father. His disciples said, Now you are speaking plainly, and not using figurative language. Now we know that you know everything, 
and do not need anyone to question you. By this we believe that you came from God. Jesus replied to them, Do you now finally believe? Look, the hour is coming and has already come when each of you will be scattered to his home and you will leave me on my own. Yet I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have told you these things so that in me you would have peace. You will have suffering in this world, but be full of courage. I have conquered the world.